What's up YouTube, it's Chaotic BPR here, and I wanna show you on the Lenovo Legion Go how well Indiana Jones and the Great Circle performs. Now, there is a couple things that you need to do to get the best performance out of, out of it as possible. What you wanna do is go into your settings, or your menu, go to AMD settings. Make sure you have version software 24.12.1. All right, under gaming, graphics, make sure you have AMD Fluid Frames 2 turned on, search mode high, performance mode quality, Radeon anti-lag enabled, Radeon sh image sharpening enabled, and I do a sharpness percent percentage of 90. Texture fil filtering quality, I turn on performance. Surface format optimization enabled. Tessellation uh, mode, I do override application settings and set it to 2x. All right, that's it for the AMD settings. Next, before I even start up the game, I bought a program from the Steam library called Lossless Scaling. Double click that. Let's get it loaded up real quick. And right here, scaling mode, auto, full screen, FSR, sharpness, 100%, optimized version. Frame generation, you want to do LSFG 2.3, mode 2x, resolution scale, 100%, performance on. Rendering, sync mode, turn it off. That'll allow tearing. And max frame latency, three. Three frames. And I have the draw FPS on so I can show y'all what it looks like, okay? I'm going to minimize that. And let's go ahead and open Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. All right. I'm going to go into options, video. Now you want to do borderless window, resolution 20, 2080 by 720, widescreen, field of view at 90, vertical sync off, change the FPS limit down to 120, motion blur off, chromatic operation off. Sharpness, I do it around 50. Film grain, I turn down to zero. Fill the depth on. Fill the depth, anal, 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 ah, I can't say that word, it's hard. On. All right. Texture pull size, high. Shadow quality, low. De uh, decal rendering distance, high. Global elimination quality, low. Reflections quality, high. Motion blur quality low, water quality high, ball metrics quality low, hair quality low, texture anascropic filtering quality high, vegetation animation quality medium, resolution scaling instead of dynamic choose static, and I run the static uh, resolution scaling to about 70. Performance metrics, you can turn that off. And I believe that's it. Yes. Okay. So that's going to be it. All right. Now, in order to get the frames working correctly and make the game look as good as it can, go ahead and scroll up, go to lossless and hit scale. It's counting down for you to pick the window. I picked Indiana Jones, the screen's gonna flash, and then the frames are gonna pop up in the top. Now, right now I'm getting 38, 39 frames per second. But because of that sampling and that, that scaling, I'm actually gonna see 78, 79 frames per second. So let's do a new game, okay? I'm gonna start a new game. I wanna show y'all the first level.
And look at this. This is running amazingly. I'm getting no skipping, no cutscene, like no nothing, nothing dragging, nothing really tearing either. The game's running great. See that it's maintaining a very, very high enough frame rate so that there's no skipping and the game actually looks really good on a handheld. Alright guys, that's what I wanted to show you. Just make sure you follow my steps completely and you should have no issues running it whatsoever. Even on an Asus, uh, uh, Asus ROG Ally, you should be able to run it on that as well, just like this. As they're pretty much the same strength devices and everything. So, hope you liked the video. If you do have one of these, hope you enjoy the game on it, if you'd like to. But make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video. And we'll see y'all in a future video. Thanks so much, guys. Later.